Hello, you guys. This is Isaac again, bringing you fact three about HIV and AIDS. Today, I said that we were going to talk about HIV AIDS among the heterosexual community. Um, my reason for that, um, before I talk about HIV amongst the gay community, which I will do tomorrow, is that people have this stigma in their head that HIV is a gay virus, that AIDS is a gay disease, that that's the only way you can get it. Um, I'm here to let you know that it's not true. HIV is very prevalent in the heterosexual community, though the percentages may be a lot smaller than in the gay community, which I said yesterday, men who sleep with men are more profoundly affected. There is still a high risk level in the heterosexual community. Since the epidemic began in the United States, about 90,000 people were diagnosed with HIV AIDS were affected through heterosexual sex. 27% of new infections in 2009 were attributed to heterosexual sex. In 2011, an estimated 3,500 people died from AIDS complications. And as of 2013, HIV infections among heterosexuals have increased at a rate of 1.1%. That means dating back from 2009 at 27%, heterosexuals contribute to about 31-32% of the new HIV infections. In this particular community, women are more profoundly affected. They attribute to about 20% of the estimated 47,000 new infections in the United States. 84% of those infections were from heterosexual contact. Ladies, this has come to just to say, which I will get on this topic a whole nother day because it's a whole nother topic in within itself. But ladies, you cannot be sure that the man that you are sleeping with is HIV negative. You cannot be sure that he isn't out and about creeping around I don't knock anybody for what they do. I mean, hey, if you want to live your life on a DL, fellas, live it. Just don't come around me. <laughs> and, you know, try to practice safe sex if that's what you're going to do. Because you are affecting the women in the community. More profoundly, the African-American women in the community of heterosexuals. Um, they are at a high risk for contracting the virus. So ladies, like I was saying, you can never be sure that the guy that you are sleeping with, messing around with, that's my dog in the background. Say hi, Duchess. That's her in the background. She decided to photobomb my video. But <laughs> you cannot be sure that the guy that you're sleeping with is HIV negative. So at all times, try to use a condom. I understand, you know, you love him and he tells you all these things and whatnot, but Use a condom. Wrap it up. If you don't want to use a condom that they have for men, they make one. They make condoms for women, women as well. Um, they have them. I don't know what they look like, so I can't give you a description. I've really never seen one. I saw one in a book. I've never seen one in person. I'm pretty sure you can go to your local Walmart and CVS pharmacy. Do what I do. I buy the big box. You know, um, though. You know, I buy the big box. Buy the big box of condoms. You know, if, you, if you're if you going to use them, just buy them. Always have them on standby. Let, you know, because you never can be sure that the person that you are sleeping with is HIV negative. That goes to saying, to say to you fellas, hey, you can't be sure that the woman that you're sleeping with is not sleeping with someone else. You know, we all, we're not a monogamous species let's get it out there we're not so we sleep around and hey that's okay if you're gonna sleep around do it safely because every day there's a new infection one out of four women in the united states are newly infected newly infected with hiv every single day so we have to start practicing safe sex you have to start wrapping it up um so we can stop this epidemic so this is the conclusion of my video, wrap it up. And once again, I'm leaving you out saying, get the facts, get tested and get involved. 
together we can stop the spread of HIV AIDS. So tomorrow I hope to see you guys again. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and you are getting a lot of information. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.